Come on, Gatsby. Good dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi. It's Gatsby. Gatsby. Good morning guys! Today it's been two years since Gatsby and I met. As you can see, he's just as good as ever. His brown spots over his eyes became basically a mask. His head is becoming a lot more brown. And he also developed a black spot over his nose. The Gatsby signature. He's a grown corgi. So I still watch the YouTube channel Wong Fu and I really like their 20 fun facts videos. And I thought that I would do a shortened 10 fun fact video about Gatsby. All the things that you may not have known about him. Let's start off the list. I had originally placed down a deposit for a different corgi that I was supposed to get in June, but I ended up finding Gatsby, whose original name was Austin at the time. I contacted the breeder five minutes after they posted the listing, and I was the first one. They were like, we suspected that this dog would be chosen first, and so I ended up forfeiting my deposit on the other corgi and got Gatsby instead. Gatsby is an incredibly friendly dog. He loves to greet every single person that he meets by running up to them and sitting on top of their feet. Everyone's always like, this is such a friendly dog. Gatsby has peed on two people in the past. This was before he was neutered. Basically, I could tell who he would try to mark on. <laughs> I would definitely keep my eye on those people. After having been neutered, he doesn't do it anymore. Gatsby no longer likes puppies who are larger than him. He's like, you need to learn respect. Right, Gatsby? You used to be like that too, you know, when you were a puppy. Gatsby is deathly afraid of the puppy fence. It has fallen down a few times, so he is so glad that it's gone. If I just touch it. I guess the good thing is he never tried to break out of it. On the other hand, Gatsby loves the vacuum cleaner. When I take that out, he is the happiest dog. Oh, it's a vacuum cleaner! Gatsby's favorite treat is broccoli stems and stems from Napa cabbage leaves. Funny thing is, he doesn't like the leafy part. And there we go. Gatsby, you're so considerate. Thank you. <laughs> During one of the corgi cons, when all the corgis get together, I lost Gatsby for like 20 minutes. He was running with the pack of corgis chasing this other dog, and all of a sudden he disappeared. And I was like, wait, where did he go? It turned out that he had turned off the track of all the other corgis, and he saw some other guy playing with his corgi with a ball, and Gatsby just ended up staying with that guy. Gatsby is born in the year of the horse for the Chinese zodiac. I'm born in the year of the dragon. Let's look at what the personalities of the year of the horse is, 2014. Most have nice personalities such as warm-hearted, upright, and easygoing. Hence, they usually have a lot of friends frolicking around them. Positive attitude leads to a brighter direction. <laughs> That's you, Gatsby! Finally, Gatsby enjoys peeing on top of dog poop, especially when the dogs are pooping. <laughs> you also have a very big interest in a specific dog's poop. That's how I decided to get him onto a can of dog food. Now he's better with that, but he still likes to pee on all the poop. And those are your 10 random facts about Gatsby. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks, Gatsby. Speaking of food, we gotta go and feed all the pets. Tembi's gonna be coming over for a little bit of a play date because it's been raining every single day. Let's get some breakfast in ya, Gatsby. A tiny strip of seaweed for the yellow tank. I'm just using an old magnet cleaner. Go and eat it. 
enjoy your food. Mmm. Seaweed. The baby clownfish is like, I want to get in the action too. They're going crazy. <laughs> Gosh, you guys. Please, sir. We want some seaweed too. Say goodbye to Tembi. Tembi's leaving. <laughs> She's ready to go. You guys have been asking me what kind of bathroom products I use. So I thought that I would share with you guys today. Let's get started with the toothbrush. I use this Oral-B toothbrush right now, which I really like. It does a really good job of getting out stains from your teeth versus like a regular toothbrush. Right now I'm using the Sensodyne Pro Enamel toothpaste because I do have sensitive teeth. My hair is super, super coarse and it doesn't like to listen. So first I use spiking glue, which is better than a gel. So that makes the hair stand up. The next I use a wax, which is this. So it kind of looks like this. And then I just take a little bit and stick in my hair shape it a little bit more than just spiking it up with glue. For face wash, my main thing is this, 10% benzoyl peroxide. So you can see my skin is getting a lot clearer than before. I think another thing that helps it was changing out my pillowcase like every two days. I think it's worth it. I just have a lot of pillowcases now. <laughs> I just use Old Spice deodorant. I have mouth guards for both the top and bottom because I grind my teeth all night long. In the shower for when I'm just washing my face after the gym, I've just been using this two-in-one shampoo, which smells really good, the ocean one. And right now I'm just using this body wash. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not too much going on in the bathroom. Let's get on with the vlog. I think I'm gonna go to the gym really soon, so I'm gonna head over there and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, I decided to stop off at the supermarket in order to get some ingredients for my dinner today. I'm gonna make some sesame chicken with broccoli. So I got my list here, let's go. Broccoli, ginger, cornstarch, sriracha. I need low sodium soy sauce, white rice vinegar, sesame seeds, chicken, and some honey. Look at this cereal. That doesn't even look like a Superman cereal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get going. Got everything we need. Just killed another career, it's a mild day. Beside Jay, they can't stand besides May. I think me, you, and M should menage Friday. Okay, I made it back home. Let's check out the aquarium update now. So here's the aquarium today. After doing a huge water change and cleaning the aquarium, as you can see, I cleaned the Vortec power head right over here. It looks nice and beautiful. The baby clownfish likes to host the elegance coral. There he is. The elegance coral doesn't seem to mind either. I'm used to seeing corals close up immediately when they get touched. I think anemones benefit from being hosted in. Corals on the other hand, don't really benefit. The yellow tang, on the other hand, is very friendly with all the other fish. Over here you can see the scoli. You can still see the skeleton a little bit, but the tissue is coming back. So. It's doing really well. However, some bad news is that the Monty cap is turning whiter and whiter. The other piece that I believe pretty much died is the rainbow Monty over here. There's no tissue on the front of it. On the bottom, I can still see a few polyps extending, but for the most part, it seems like it's a goner, sadly. I did notice that I had a huge swing in alkalinity and calcium the other day when I was doing my water tests, and I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of the corals were not very happy. The Rasta zoanthids are doing really well. These Ring of Fire zoanthids are doing really well. When I first got them, they were three polyps, and now, as you can see, they're five. And these beautiful torch corals add so much movement to the aquarium. So before I started making dinner, I thought that I would do a really quick review because you guys have been asking for movie reviews. Zootopia, woo! I really, really liked it. Of course, big shock there. Disney definitely took a page out of Pixar's book and made a movie that is really accessible to pretty much anybody. It tackles tons of social issues, sometimes a little too much on the nose. I do still think that it was a very entertaining movie. There's so much eye candy, so much is going on. I thought that it was very clever, very, very 
very relatable on every single level, just like any Pixar movie. You want to be pretty much any character's best friend. You can understand all the characters very easily. They're very multi-layered characters, and I would highly suggest everyone go and see it. So my final review for Zootopia out of four stars would have to be three and a half stars. Hey, what's up, dude? Unfortunately, Gatsby, it's still raining outside, so we're gonna have to play indoors. Let's do some corgi dance exercises. Are you ready? Cue the music. Dog. Woo! Woo! Having a good time. Guess we keep bringing me new toys to play with. You wanna play with this one now? Ah! Next toy, this one. Corgi dog, you stay on my mind. Fulfill my corgasies. Okay, and now it's time to make our quick sesame broccoli chicken for dinner. So first off, let's start cooking rice. Plug it in. And start. Here's what we need for the recipe. First thing we're gonna do is cut the chicken. Six tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Whisk together, adding the chicken. Next, we're gonna heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil, which is right over here. <laughs> Oh, by the way, my mom sent me this recipe. Apparently it's on Epicurious. I've never made it before. She's never made it before. It just had a high review. We're gonna heat the oil over high heat. It says to add half of the chicken right now. We let it cook for about five minutes. Looks good. We're gonna do it again. There we go, all the chicken's done. One teaspoon of ginger. Medium. Five tablespoons of honey, four tablespoons of this low sodium soy sauce, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of sriracha, one and a half teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, and the garlic and ginger that we grated. We also need one tablespoon of roasted sesame, one quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go, mix it up. Okay, let's do the broccoli really fast. I'm sure Gatsby can smell it and he'll come running over. Speak of the corgi, Mmm. Okay, stick the broccoli inside. It wants us to steam the broccoli for five to six minutes. We add the sauce back into the pan and let it reduce for about a minute. Check on the broccoli. It looks good. We add the chicken back inside. Getting hungry. And let the sauce reduce for another two minutes. Let's chop up some scallions. Ooh. Get a load of that sauce broccoli. I wonder if it tastes good. Okay, the sauce has reduced. It looks really good. Let's add the scallions. We can add some more sesame seeds. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, sesame chicken with broccoli. And the rice is done. Back at it again with the delicious food. Grab some rice, add some this chicken. There we go. Mmm, that's really good. You can taste all the honey and the sriracha sauce. I'd definitely make it again. Everyone says they would make it again. I think that's why my mom said it to me. You brought all the toys to me, Gatsby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's play. Thank you so much for two incredible years. Here's to many more years to come. 
thank you so much you guys for watching in the comments below write down what your favorite moment with Gatsby has been I'm gonna head to bed already because it's getting late and I'll see you guys in the next vlog good night damn Gatsby damn Gatsby damn Gatsby damn Gatsby back at it again with the white paws Damn, Gatsby! Damn, Gatsby! Damn! Damn! Damn, Gatsby! Damn, Gatsby! Damn, Gatsby! Damn! Damn!